Zero gravity and microgravity are the same thing, right? These words are often used interchangeably, however their meaning is quite different. Micro means very small. Gravity is the force that pulls together all matter. The more mass something has, the greater its gravitational pull. The strength of gravity on Earth is normal gravity, or 1g. So microgravity is a very small force of gravity, approximately one millionth of that on Earth, but not a complete lack of it. Therefore, it is incorrect to call this state zero gravity. Microgravity is achieved by free fall. In a vacuum, there is no air resistance, so gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate, looking to each other like they are floating. Imagine being in an elevator. In a stationary elevator car, you experience normal weight. In an ascending elevator, your weight increases slightly because of the upward acceleration. In a descending elevator, your weight decreases slightly because of the downward acceleration. If the elevator cables broke, gravity would pull you and the elevator down at the same rate. You would feel weightless as you are in free fall, experiencing microgravity. In space shuttles, astronauts appear to be floating, but they are actually in free fall, travelling at the same speed as their space shuttle, around 28,000 km per hour. However, they are not falling towards Earth, they are falling around it. Sir Isaac Newton explained how it is possible for something to fall around Earth using the example of a cannon firing on the top of a very tall mountain, higher than Earth's atmosphere. Since then, many other examples have been used, such as an astronaut jumping off a very tall skyscraper. When this astronaut jumps, the force of the gravity will pull him back to Earth. However, the faster the astronaut is travelling, the further he will travel before he hits the ground. If the astronaut reaches a certain speed as he travels, he will fall around the curve of the Earth entering a state of continuous freefall around the Earth, called orbit. As the space shuttle launches, it doesn't travel straight up. It arcs slightly over the ocean, accelerating to around 28,000 km per hour. At this speed, the space shuttle begins to orbit, falling in a curved path around the Earth. Since all the objects in the shuttle, and the shuttle itself, are in freefall, they experience microgravity, appearing to float as if there was no gravity at all. However, there is gravity. Typically, Space shuttles orbit between 193 and 580 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, where the strength of Earth's gravitational pull is still around 89%. This gravitational pull is what keeps spacecraft in orbit. But what does microgravity mean for humans in space? Microgravity is a completely different experience to that of Earth, which astronauts have to be trained and prepared for, but also comes with benefits. Heavy equipment can be moved around easily, and astronauts can perform science experiments that help us to learn and create things that could not be created on Earth. These new facts and creations may be used to speed up computers, reduce pollution, and enable medical breakthroughs.